All right, so guys, I was thinking, I like the rev match. I don't know about you guys, I like the rev match, and I can't rev match in my FK8, which sucks. You like the rev match? You already know, I just be like, yeah, 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 and yeah. <laughs> yeah, he liked the rev match. How about you, you like the rev match? Yeah, I love the rev match, but have you checked out the Series Media t-shirts at SeriousMedia.com? Man, get out of here with that booty tiki shirt. What the? Booty tiki. Get out of here with that booty tiki trash, man. Get out of here. Nobody want that. Always trying to sell something. Somebody always trying to sell something. It's not booty techy. It's bit techy. It means aesthetic. Aesthetic. Bit techy. Aesthetic. Ass. Exactly. Booty. Man, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> booty techy head ass. Oh my god. You can shut up too. Eh. As I was saying guys, I like the rev match. Um, I rev match all the time in the EK when I'm downshifting and also in the fit when I'm downshifting. I can do it too in the type R, but as you know, it has the auto rev match feature, which you can turn off, but due to the location of the accelerator pedal, it's kind of hard to hilto. So with that being said, I'm going to be installing the Acuity accelerator pedal relocator and we're gonna see if that helps me out. But the beautiful thing about this pedal relocator is that it has three different positions that you can set up your accelerator pedal, which makes it more customizable for your preference, which is awesome. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get right into the box and see what they got for us. All right, so I've already opened the box, but I haven't like taken anything out. I just, you know, I like to make sure everything's in there before I do things. But this is the box. Got a bunch of packing peanuts. God, I hate packing peanuts. Uh, one second. All right, so we have the accelerator pedal relocation bracket, and we have oh, we got some goodies. We got a lot of goodies. Okay, okay. One second. Let's open this. All right, we got a jet tag, two stickers. Oh, these are nice. Look at this. We got, we got a double cup air freshener. Yo, so I actually saw this on their website and I was actually thinking about getting it. That's crazy. That's cool. Let's go, Houston. <laughs> uh, two Acuity stickers. Probably put those on the, the box, the toolbox. That's crazy. Yo, all my Houstonians out there. But now we got the accelerator pedal relocation bracket. Let's open this up. All right. So here, if it'll focus. There we go. So here, as you can see, we have the uh, relocation bracket. Loud ass truck. All right. So here we have the relocation bracket. And as I was saying earlier, there's three different positions to where you can set up the uh, accelerator pedal. But um, from what it looks like, you're just going to be replacing this or just adding it in between the um, floorboard and the accelerator pedal via these screws right here on the inside. And then you just uh, plug in the accelerator pedal wherever you want, lining up either A, B, or C. And um, on the website, it has the uh, chart of, adjust of adjustments and it tells you just how much everyone is just how much uh, each adjustment is. Oh, this even tells you the uh, torque amounts. Cool, that's awesome. Uh, and we have some purple hardware. I'm guessing this is where you screw those into the bracket. Yeah, this is cool. 
Also, there's purple too, so that purple's my favorite color, so I'm always about anything that's purple. With that being said, let's get to installing this. Man, another thing, cutie, this is pretty crazy. You give all this stuff and you buy the relocation bracket. What happens if I buy the shifter? Do I get a car? <laughs> Does the car come with the shifter? <laughs> all right, I'm just messing around. Let's do it. All right, so now this is pretty much a straightforward install. Um, what you want to do is, first off, unplug the accelerator pedal. And then you're going to want to take out these three screws right here. One, two, and then three. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. All right. So yeah, if you guys are having any trouble keeping up with what I'm talking about, um, Acuity on their website has a tutorial and they also have a video tutorial. So yeah, these guys are very good about getting the information out there and uh, telling it very clearly. So that's kind of what I've just been following, but I'm just reading the online instructions and it's kind of just really simple. So yeah. So the first thing you're going to want is a 12 millimeter and with an extension, just so you can reach back there. And then uh, what you want to do after you've disconnected the accelerator pedal is um, disconnect the bolts. Well, disconnect the accelerator from the backboard. And then, voila, you now have the accelerator pedal off. And then at this point, it's pretty much just putting the bracket in there and using the uh, Allen bolts that they provide for you and pretty much setting up the accelerator pedal against the bracket the way you want. And I'll show you guys that here in a second. All right, so now once you have your bracket and um, you're ready to reinstall, just take your existing screws the OEM ones and basically just put the acuity bracket the relocator in the spot where the accelerator pedal was but be careful not to pinch the little accelerator cord like I almost just did remove that from back there and then you're gonna want to take the OEM screws and screw them back on there I'm just gonna get these hand tight so I can go ahead and uh, make sure it doesn't move on me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it back in place. Awesome. Once you have the bracket mounted, you can go ahead and get to installing the accelerator pedal. Now, here's the fun part. With the accelerator pedal, you can now choose what position that you want to have your accelerator pedal. Um, I'm going to stick with A because I believe it's the closest to factory with it just being raised up and matching the brake pedal. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna leave a little chart up here, a little diagram from their website so you can see exactly what the different uh, spacing is for each hole, for A, B, and C. And then uh, you can just decide from there what you wanna do. But after you do that, uh, once you figure out what you wanna do, uh, take, the, uh, take the five millimeter Allen screws that's provided with the little purple washers, which are so clean, <laughs> and then uh, just put it back in there. And now um, the pedal mounting screws, you're gonna wanna use, um, when it comes to uh, torquing the, the uh, screws down, you're going to want to torque them down at uh, 10 feet per pound. So you're gonna need a torque wrench to do that properly. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these in there and uh, get these hand tight, and then just go ahead and um, torque them down off, off screen. All right, we are back. Everything is torqued down and good to go. Look at that, that looks clean. And as you guys can see, the accelerator pedal is now Pretty much flush with the uh, with the brake pedal. Awesome. And just like that, that's an easy install. All right, this actually feels not too bad, honestly. It feels really good, actually. Got your pedal, brake. You know, you're braking. Clutch. Yeah, you can get it. It's really easy. It's a lot easier, actually. You barely can put your leg over. Yeah, so simple. Perfect. 
thick. All right. Awesome. Good, clean, easy install. Pedal's not loose or anything. Like, not shaking. It's solid. Feels like it belongs. Can't wait to give this some uh, actual test use. And guys, that concludes the video of the Acuity Acceleration Pedal Relocation Bracket. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys ever want to turn off your auto rev match and want to be able to uh, hill toe comfortably, that might be the product for you. Just letting you know. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. Please like the video. It really helps the channel grow way more than you guys could possibly imagine. And also, please go check out SeriousMedia.com. Go check out the merch, man. I got t-shirts. I got keychains, stickers, air fresheners. Go check it out. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And also, stay tuned, guys. I actually finally signed up for my first track day, which will be in the middle of July, in the middle of this month. So stay tuned for that. And we got plenty more installs coming up. And I'm also working on finally getting a motor for the EK hatch. Uh, if you want to guess what motor I'm looking at right now, hopefully I'll be picking it up tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. But if you can guess what motor it is down below, I'll like your comment. I'm going to like your comment regardless. So <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.